Hello, Professor Dawkins. How are you? I'm Ben Stein. I'm so sorry to keep you waiting. How are you? Fine, thank you. You have, uh, you have written that uh, God is a psychotic delinquent invented by mad, deluded people. No, I didn't say quite that. I said something rather better than that. Oh, well, please tell us what you said. Please tell us what you um, said. I, well, I would have to read it from, from, from the book. No, well, please. The God of the Old Testament is arguably the most unpleasant character in all fiction. Jealous and proud of it. A petty, unjust, unforgiving control freak. A vindictive, bloodthirsty ethnic cleanser. A misogynistic, homophobic, racist, infanticidal, genocidal, filicidal, pestilential, megalomaniacal, sadomasochistic, capriciously malevolent bully. So that's what you think of God? Yeah. How about, how about if people believed in a God of infinite lovingness and kindness and forgiveness and generosity, sort of like the modern day God? Why spoil it for them? Oh, um... Why not just let them have their fun I'm and enjoy happy. it? I mean, I don't want to spoil anything for anybody. I, I write a book, people can read it if, if they want to. Um, I believe that it is a liberating thing to free yourself from primitive superstition. So religion is a primitive superstition? Oh, I, I think it is, yes. So uh, you believe it's liberating to uh, tell people that there is no God? I think a lot of people, when they give up God, feel a great sense of release uh, and freedom. Why do you think that? I mean, what's your well, dad, what's your scientist, what's your dad? I think, well, I've had a lot of, of letters saying that, and I've... There are eight billion people in the world, yeah, Dr. Yeah, Dawkins. Know, know, How many yeah, letters yeah, have you had? No, I haven't, I haven't done that, but I, that's quite, quite true. Professor Dawkins seemed so convinced that God doesn't exist that I wondered if he would be willing to put a number on it. Well, it's hard to put a figure on it, but but I I, I mean I'd put it as something like you know ninety nine percent against or something. Well, how do you know it's ninety nine percent? I don't say ninety seven. No, I did. You asked me to put a figure on it, and I it, I'm not comfortable putting a figure on it. I think it's I I just think it's very unlikely. What? But you couldn't put a number on it. No, of course not. No. So it, it could would be forty nine percent. Well, I it would be. I mean, I I think it's 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 unlikely, but but I but, and it's quite far from 50 percent. How do you know? I don't know. I mean, I've, I, I put an argument in the book. Well, then who did create the heavens and the earth? Why do you use the word who? You see, you, you, you immediately beg the question by using the word who. Well, then how did it get created? Well, um, by a very slow process. Well, how did it start? Nobody knows how, how, how it started. We know the kind of event that it must have been. We know the sort of event that, that must have happened for the origin of life. And what was that? It was the origin of the first self-replicating molecule. Right, how did that happen? I told you, we don't know. So you have no idea how it started? No, 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 no nor has anybody. Nor has anyone nor else. Anybody. What do you think is the possibility that, there, that intelligent design might turn out to be uh, the answer to some issues in uh, genetics or in, well, in evolution? It could come about in the following way. It could be that uh, at some earlier time, somewhere in the universe, a civilization e evolved by probably some kind of Darwinian means to a very, very high level of technology and designed a form of life that they seeded onto perhaps this, this planet. Um, now, th that is a possibility and an intriguing possibility. Mm. And I suppose it's possible that you might find evidence for that if you look at the, um, at the detail, details of biochemistry, molecular biology, you might find a signature of some sort of designer. Wait a second. Richard Dawkins thought intelligent design might be a legitimate pursuit? Um, and that designer could well be a higher intelligence from elsewhere in the universe. Well, but okay. that higher intelligence would itself have had to have come about by some explicable or ultimately explicable process. It couldn't have just jumped into existence spontaneously. That's the point. So Professor Dawkins was not against intelligent design, just certain types of designers, such as God. So the, the Hebrew God, the God of the Old Testament, he doesn't exist in your view? Um, Certainly, I mean, that would be a very unpleasant pro prospect. And no, no. Uh, the trend, holy trinity of the no, New Testament, nothing, that doesn't Nothing exist. like that. Do you believe in any of the uh, Hindu gods? Like Vishnu? How can you ask such a question? You I mean, don't, how, right? how could I? I mean, what, why in... would I, given that I don't believe in any others? You don't believe in the Muslim god? No. I mean, why do you even need to ask? 
Well, I just wanted to be sure. So you don't believe in any God anywhere? Any God anywhere would be completely incompatible with, 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 with anything that I've said. In, in, I, I assume. Yeah. I, I'm just wanted to make sure. You don't okay. believe in any God anywhere? No. What if, you, if after you died, you ran into God? He said, what have you been doing, Richard? I mean, what have you been doing? I've been trying well, to be nice to you. Yep. I gave you a multi-million dollar paycheck yep. over and over again with your book, and look what you did. Bertrand Russell was, had that point put to him, and he said um, something like, Sir, why did you take such pains to hide yourself? But if the intelligent design people are right, God isn't hidden. We may even be able to encounter God through science, if we have the freedom to go there. <laughs>